All right, check that out. That didn't get much better than that. That was fantastic. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how um, to do a small room with trim and putting in, uh, coping it, not cutting it on 45s. So in this uh, little water closet here, what we're gonna do is go uh, square to square because there's gonna be a plinth block there on that door casing. So we'll put that plinth block in, put this other block here, and then we can go square to square. So since I am right-handed, I wanna be able to take uh, my square to square cut here, go cope here, and then go all the way over and do another square cut here. Then on this side where the toilet's gonna land, I'm gonna do cope cut, square cut, and then over here, go cope cut to square cut back to another plinth block. Tape measure, pencil, probably two pencils. I'll probably lose this twice in this video. Um, so let's get going. A really smart guy named Gary told me to do all your pencil work all your tape measure work all at once, then all your cutting at once. The other thing I want to do is get one scrap block of the molding, and that will give me the offset that I need to know that my measurements are going to be tight. So here's the wood that I'm working with. Uh, it's a six inch, like six and a half inch, maybe almost seven inch, uh, single piece base. So we can look at the profile here. Uh, this gets a little bit tricky as it goes, but um, it's going to be pretty easy to cope. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and make this square to square cut first. All right, so my next piece is going to be uh, 33 inches from the cope side over here to the square side that's over here. Uh, and so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to go ahead and put a uh, profile, put a 45 on this. So we're going to cut this board three different times with the chop saw and then the fourth and final time is going to be with our coping saw. My first two cuts are going to be on this right side of the board. We're going to cut the 45 and we'll come back and cut a little square cut on it. But the next thing I'm going to cut is my length on this side. So I'm putting the angle that we want on the right side of the board because we're working right to the left. All right. So I've cut a 45 on this board. You may be thinking, wait a minute, that's a miter cut. All we're really doing is exposing the wood so that we can manipulate it a little bit easier. So the next cut I'm gonna make, I'm gonna cut from here. You can see that. I'm gonna cut from here down the board. And we're gonna cut that square. We're not gonna cut into the wood, but we're only gonna cut right on this profile line here, we're gonna cut that at a 90 degree angle and cut that square and cut that off. Does that make sense? Okay, here we go. So it's a square cut on this piece now. I'm only cutting, I'm only cutting to here. I'm only cutting to right here. I'm leaving the rest of this at a 45. So I'm cutting this off. So I'm cutting this at zero degrees, the saw is set up or 90 degrees, zero degrees, that sort of thing. So watch as I cut this. Now it's super important how you power down the saw when you're in the middle of the wood. So watch this. If I were to have powered down the saw in the middle of that wood, the saw would have kicked and then dug back into the wood. So if you can see this, I've taken just a straight cut on that board. I've kept our profile line there. Now I can go ahead and either break this off. There we go, we've lost that. Now we're gonna be on to our cope cut. But before our cope cut, we're taking our third cut with this chop saw and we're cutting our distance here on this other side. So the last cut I'm gonna make is our length cut on, uh, on this board. All right, this is ready for cope. I'm gonna cut my other ones, and then we're gonna do all our copes at one time. All right, so when you work right to left, there's two things that you're gonna have. You're always gonna know what side needs to be coped. 
when you always know what side needs to be coped, you're always cutting every piece at the same 45. Does that make sense? A left corner is different than a right corner, right? Right side, cope side, cut. Now we're going back to our square cut. So all I, all I'm doing is just following the square profile here. We cut the cope to expose the 45. Now we're cutting this material away so that they go together. All right, so you may be asking, why did you cut everything right to left? Well, since we're doing the copes on the right side, I'm right-handed and I find it a little bit easier to cut the copes with my right hand. If you're left-handed, it's probably a little bit easier for you to cut copes with your left hand. So let's head outside and we'll cut these copes. All right, so you may be uh, saying, why are we not just 45ing it? Well, um, this material, as it gets bigger, it's a little bit harder to work with on, a, um, on an angle like a 45. Uh, the other thing is that we're going for a connection that is like this. So if you look at my hands here, my hands fit together really well like that, right? On a 45 with all these different uh, lines and everything, they don't exactly just go together, right? See like something like that where you see those uh, holes in there? So the cope really is the best and tightest way. Uh, it's the way that everybody, uh, if you know what you're doing, it's the way that you're putting molding together. So the next thing we need here is a coping saw. This coping saw is going to allow us to get into these profiles and into this material in a way that's going to allow us to get that really tight uh, locking together uh, action. So one side is square, one side's on a 45. Not really now, not on a 45 because it's going to go uh, square and then all this is going to get cut away. So let me show you that. So what I want to cut away here is Make a relief cut there, make another relief cut here, another relief cut there where it's square, maybe one there, and then kind of dig in here and start cutting these away. Making relief cuts will single-handedly make this easier. Uh, on a piece like this, I'll probably have five relief cuts. So then, what's super important is that I'm going to cut this back at an angle. I want to ultimately have my piece follow a line like this here, where I'm taking away a little bit more on that back side, so that when it locks together, there's nothing behind there that's gonna be uh, hitting it. I find that doing these on a set of steps is really nice because you get enough room on your down cut and you can put your body weight on the board. So first thing I'm gonna do is cut these, pro, uh, cut these relief cuts. Okay, so that first cut I just went through and squared up uh, this bottom edge here. Now the next one I want to kind of do is work down to get this curve cut, and then I'm going to work back the other way. If I cut from right here to begin with, I'm afraid I'm going to break the material where it's real thin. The only way to not do that is to stick, stick the saw blade in there and pull. Stick it in again and pull. Pull again pull again. Pull one more time. If I push and pull in there, I'm going to break this little mini tip off of there.
There we go. All right, just needed to make one little uh, hole for the toilet supply coming through the wall. And now I am ready to start setting this in and uh, see how it looks. All right, check that out. That didn't get much better than that. That looks fantastic. So I basically repeated that step three times. Last thing I need to do is put in the cord around. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. Make sure to smash that like button and subscribe for more great content like this. Thanks for watching.